these are perfect. Hey y'all, it's Short and Stoned, but if you're new here, you can call me Kelly. I am a cannabis advocate, medical patient, and solventless foods entrepreneur. Welcome to my channel. On today's episode, we are going to be diving in to my favorite and easiest ways to infuse any food and any beverage. Whether you're new to consuming or looking for ways to elevate any meal, this video is for you. Being a solventless infused foods chef and baker, I know my way around the kitchen and I love making recommendations for people. There are so many different creative yet effective ways to infuse any meal, snack, dinner, dessert. Today I'll be walking you through each method step by step. Let's get started. First up, we have infused oil, or better known as canna oil. This is the most popular and versatile method of infusing food. You can use oils such as MCT oils, avocado oil, vegetable oil, olive oil, coconut oil. Simply infuse your decarboxylated herb into oil by gently heating it over an extended period of time. The finished product can then be used in a variety of ways, from baking to garnishes to sautés. My favorite way of using infused oil is in baked dishes such as mac and cheese or pastas even. Next we have infused butter or can of butter. This is a staple in any infusion kitchen. To make it, you simply infuse butter by melting it down and infusing it with your decarboxylated herb over an extended period of time on low gentle heat, kind of like the oil. Now, can of butter is a must for baking, for getting those ooey gooey soft cookies, the best brownies, and even just spreading on toast. My favorite way is the OG brownies. I may add, the past two methods, oil and can of butter, are my favorite and I find most effective. Binding your herb with a fat is essential for your body to metabolize it correctly. Next up, we have tinctures. Tinctures are another fantastic option. These are either alcohol or glycerin based. They come in little bottles with droppers so that you can perfectly dose yourself. These are fantastic for high dose or low dose patients as the potency in here can really range. You can add a few drops on your tea, in your salad, perhaps a smoothie, but my best suggestion is under the tongue works best and the quickest. This CBD tincture was crucial in leaning me off pain meds post my amputation accident. I just added this on my tongue when I felt pain arise and it did the trick. Oh, it's Rick Simpson calling. RSO oil or Rick Simpson oil is the most potent form of infusion there is. This is not for the newbies and I only suggest this if you're a long time medical patient or you really need something super potent and jam packed with the medicinal benefits. Rick Simpson conjured up this recipe himself, rubbed it on his cancerous skin cells and healed himself. This is something to be regarded as super potent, super magical and beneficial to the whole community. This has been shown to decrease cancer cells and even stop seizures and epilepsy in young children. Rick Simpson, everybody. You can add this into your sauces, melt it down into a dip to spread on crackers. My favorite is to add it on peanut butter and take it just as that. The fat helps it bind perfectly. Obviously, the infusion chef couldn't get through a video without mentioning one of my products I've formulated myself. This is magic powder, a solventless powder that is perfect to sprinkle on the food into any recipe, into any drink, because it is already activated there's no thinking for you. You just put it in. It is a powder, so unlike an oil or a liquid, it is a little bit easier to dose. I love infused powders just for the ease, the portability, the discretion. Although infused can of powders are a bit newer to the market, they are slowly gaining popularity. Like I said, sprinkle it into any food. It's super convenient, especially for on the go. I love these for when I'm traveling on vacation and I want to infuse any meal. I'm telling you, any restaurant meal can be taken up a few notches. Next up, we have infused syrups. These are my favorite ones. They're rosin, so again, solventless, sticking on brand. 
I prefer these to make my infused mocktails on the weekend. These are best for beverages, sweet treats, drizzle it on top of a sundae, drizzle it in a smoothie. But again, my best recommendation is use these syrups when you're leaning towards an alcohol alternative. Just because people around you are consuming alcohol doesn't mean you have to give in to the temptations. These truly help you stay Cali sober. Next up is the super convenient, super easy, super short and sweet. We got can of sugar. Infused sugar is the perfect convenient option to elevate your morning coffee, your tea time at night, sprinkle it on top of any treat you're gonna have. This is perfect, convenient. Again, can't hype up can of sugar enough. A very slept on method. It is a bit trickier to make. You obviously have to infuse the oil first, and then you have to find the right ratio of oil to sugar, and then bake that at the right temperature so you don't burn out the medicine inside. And then you're left with some can of sugar. You can also do the same with salt. So you can have infused salt as well. Use it on your salty snacks, use it in your baking, use it in your cooking, you know? Get a little salt bay up in there. All right, we have a classic to the short and stone lineup. This is infused can of chocolates. These are great. You can melt them into your chili recipe if you know you know. Chop them up, put them in your chocolate chip cookies, put them in your milkshakes, put it on your chocolate sundaes. Better yet, my favorite way is melt this into hot chocolate. Kick your hot cocoa up a little bit. Better yet, melt it in a fondue. Another great way to infuse drinks, make additional mocktails or add them into smoothies is to make a can of infused tea. You can use the loose leaf and stems and strain it separately, or you can make your own little tea bags. These are great for the perfect relaxing tea. And there you have it, y'all. My top methods on how you can easily elevate any of your food or drinks. But remember guys, start low and go slow. You can always take more, you can't take less. When first starting out with infused foods, it does metabolize stronger in your body than if you were to inhale it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I love sharing how we can destigmatize plant consumption through foods and edible experiences. If you enjoyed this, please give it a like, comment, and let me know your favorite consumption method in the comments through edible infusion. Or if you just made it this far, comment magic. Also, if you feel so inclined to learn how to use the Laveau oil infuser, check out my previous videos. Additionally, next week I'll be out painting and puffing. So join me then. If you'd like to see updates, follow me on Instagram and I post every Thursday. So I will see you next week. All right. See y'all. I hope you have a great rest of your week. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you. Place your waters with Mediterranean life. No, no, no. No more water.